Hey everybody, Brian Von Vier here, back at it again, representing Mr. Ripper to talk about short games. Short games? Yeah, that's a little bit unusual, isn't it? Not talking about large epics or, or giant story arcs that lasted 20 sessions. No, 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 these ones are the rinky-dinky, teeny-tiny, little itty-bitty ones. And if you have one to share, please do so in the comments below. But until then, what was the shortest D&D game you've played? The 13-Minute Campaign. Ooh, that sounds fun. We held a session zero to write up characters, and the DM decided to hold a small, non-combat roleplay session at the end. It was one scene in which our characters meet and introduce ourselves, so that we could immediately get into questing at the start of the first proper session. Enter Odrag Keen Shatterer, played by my friend. Odrag was a homebrew class full orc barbarian, who immediately decided to steal a cart from a passing merchant because he needed it. It was never explained to us why he needed it, he just uh, did, apparently. The merchant had several guards, none of which was lower than CR2. We were a level one party. And uh, me and the bard elected to refuse Odrag's call to arms. So he immediately died in one round of combat. And we, as his companions, ended up wanted by the law. We just started a new campaign next session. <laughs> DM had some business to take care of, and then all hell broke loose. Another player got banned from the server for BS reasons. Then when the DM retaliated, he got banned, and so did a lot of people who retaliated because of the one player getting banned. He ended up canceling the game because of drama and real life stuff that this added on top of and you get a ban, and you get a ban, and you get a ban. Pathfinder first edition game I played. It was uh, horrible as well. No plans beyond a basic outline from the DM. No money for us to choose our equipment. And most importantly, no maps. Our first battle was an army versus army battle where we had no clue where our armies were. Keep in mind, this was my first time playing Pathfinder and while I'm still open to playing the game, my introduction to it was a very sour experience. We only had one session before everyone dropped it entirely. I'm going to guess that uh, one-shots don't count, because there's one that leaps to mind. Ghosts of Demerel. I yeet the moose at the maps. <laughs> so for the yeet the moose part, which this narrator is excited for, there was a homebrew wild magic chart in use. It used a D1000 with each individual roll being a separate result. <whistles> Amazing. In response to one such chaos roll summoning a moose, someone shouted, I yeet the moose at the geist! And proceeded to do just that. As for the at the maps part, the DM was using some art web app to draw his maps ahead of time. And when he accidentally hit the back button, his maps weren't saved, forcing an early end to the session. <laughs> It was a duo campaign, one player and the DM. DM was following every single role like it's gospel. I had something cool or funny I wanted to do, roll for it, and more often than not fail, make a joke. Now the innkeeper hates you and has raised the price for the night. He decided to have the local mob boss be my quest giver. And when I rolled poorly on my way to the quest objective, I took a wrong turn and ended up running into some slavers. The mob boss turned on me, so I decided to confess to the city guard, rolled low on persuasion, and ended up in jail framed for a crime I didn't commit, and sentenced to death. I barely escaped from prison and felt quite icky, so I wanted a fresh start. I decided to travel and my DM told me it was cold and the ground was covered with snow. He had me roll every single day for distance traveled, random encounters, and even what my character would have for dinner. His DM PC was traveling with my character, and he always had something to eat and to keep warm, refusing to share, of course, because in the DM's words, You have to earn that. I'm running D&D as written, and not a superhero campaign. Blah, 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 blah. DM snapped when I told him I wanted something better than the starting equipment to increase my odds of surviving. You want a superhero game, not D&D. Get out of my server! So I was kicked and blocked 
for daring to ask him to give me a break since I wasn't having fun seeing my character one inch from death at all times. If you're treating D&D more like a religion than a game for everyone else to have fun in, I pray to the dice gods that you forever roll natural ones. Also, can we just point out one thing really quick? The DMPC was uh, <coughs> always perfect and superhero trippy, so why can't everyone else do it? Sounds like a little fantasy trip to me. Half an evening. We party wiped about mm, one and a half hours into the first session as the DM had placed a level 5 dragon inside the mine we were to explore. <laughs> we, we were level 1. Two sessions. The day of the third session, we asked the DM several times if there would be session that day. It started at midnight for me on a school day, so I wanted to know ahead. He ignored us, so I went to sleep. Next day, I found out he deleted the Discord server. When I asked him why, he said, I was the only one who wanted this campaign to continue. Turn on your notifications, buddy. I'm pretty sure the shortest campaign I've been in was one I ran. It was uh, only intended to be five or so sessions, and the players I had blitzed through the first two quests by finding the secret door and shooting a bunch of holes in some lobsters, wait, 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 what? Ended up getting to the end of what I had planned in four sessions. It was a pretty fun experience, and I DM'd for one of the players I had for it again a few months down the line. Banned gunslingers in all my campaigns for a year due to their crazy damage output. Pathfinder, first edition, shout out to all my Pathfinder peeps. Oh, same here, mm, love Pathfinder. I joined a campaign that was already in progress. I was playing a wizard with the ability to craft wondrous items. For introductions, the party's chaotic neutral rogue tried to bully my character by stealing two of my magical necklaces from my inventory and throwing them on the ground in front of the whole party in the middle of a tavern. They were both necklaces of fireball. My character just had a derp expression as the necklaces exploded. Thanks to a lucky reflex save and a bit of fire resistance, I was the sole survivor in the tavern. Then I had to convince the town cards that this wasn't my fault. <laughs> my party had a bunch of new players, two of which chose the most complicated class, Artificer. They decided the best way to manage inventory was to use bags of holding and one of them decided the best way to keep storage going was to put their bag into the other's bag. Fastest campaign of my life. All because they wanted to store multiple bear cadavers <laughs> into their bag. <laughs> now their corpses are in the astral plane. Half a session. We showed up ready for session zero. DM threw up about an hour in. We all went home. His parents said they were moving two days later. Wait, what? There's so much chaos in this one. I need, I need details. A campaign that I started for a group of strangers fell apart before its third session. After characters displayed utter chaotic stupidity that involved insulting their first quest giver, stealing from the plot hook and ultimately intoxicating and drowning one another. They never even made it out of the starting town. I recently joined a campaign where the DM clearly had done a lot of work for his homebrew world. Some of the players demanded the spotlight in the normal conversation, demanding to know what the other characters thought of their character. They even made some decisions for the DM about how certain things would happen, basically making their character immortal. Meanwhile, other players would unceremoniously drop out of and rejoin the campaign. The DM would have just enough time to rebalance everything before someone would flip again. Eventually, the player at the top dropped out, insulting and flipping everybody off as he left the Discord server. The DM had enough at this point and canceled the campaign. This last bit happened one week before Session Zero. Wow, what a terrible, terrible group. DM, you sound good though. So I signed up for a tournament style PVP one shot on the Mr. Ripper Discord. Oh, here we go. Come join if you aren't already here. Shameless plug aside, we had a week to prepare our level 8 characters. Now I know a lot of people look at 5th edition PVP and groan, oh, but it's honestly something that can be a lot of fun if you go into it with the right mindset. 
I rolled up a min-max tabaxi astral soul monk. 20 dex, 18 wisdom, and I think a 17 or 18 con? He was a beast meant to run around at Mach 10, smashing stuff with force damage punches and stunning everything. The day comes and we all jump into the chat. We had my monk, one fighter, two barbarians, and four spellcasters of varying classes. There's a little pre-tournament fluff, and then the first match starts. A spellcaster showdown. Now, here's where things get weird. The casters start slinging spells and asking for rules clarifications from the DM here and there. We've been in this call for an hour and a half now, and out of nowhere the DM goes quiet. Like deafened and muted in the voice chat. After three minutes of silence, the call drops. When I go back to re-log, I find the server itself had been completely deleted. So, me and a couple of the competitors start messaging back and forth, asking what's wrong and if anyone knows what happened. I reach out to the DM and he finally gets back to me a couple days later and he goes off! complaining about too many spells being cast to keep track of, how over half the characters were min-maxed, and that people were asking too many questions. As a DM myself, I get it. Stuff like that is a lot of hard work. But you kind of asked for it by offering the game in the first place. No real hate to the DM, but here's a word of advice. Next time, maybe don't undertake something so ambitious if you're not ready for it. TLDR. I spent a week making a character that I honestly loved for a PvP event that lasted all of about an hour and a half. Hey everybody, Brian Von VA here, back at it again checking in after the vid. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you feel so chaotic, roll on your wild magic table so you too can see the effects of ringing that bell. I would say use a D100 and a randomized magic chart because that just leaves a lot of chaos for fun. That said, make sure to also leave a comment down below, not only for the blood gods of the ninth level of hell, but because we, the team here at Mr. Ripper, would love to see what your shortest game of D&D is all about. Fire it away, because it might end up in a video one day, especially if this one goes off, which uh, I really hope it does. I kind of like this one. This one was kind of fun. That said, if you want to say hi to me, Brian Von VA, come do so on Twitch, Twitter, on my Discord. Just find all the links of my socials over on my website, which is in the description below. And finally, I try to end things on a positive note. I just want to say this. I am grateful for the fact that we here at Mr. Ripper have inspired, what, hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people to actually give D&D, Pathfinder, and other tabletop games a chance. Yes, of course, you might have a day or, or two where you get into a game for your first time and the DM sucks or the players are crap, but that doesn't really matter. Don't let that taint your experience. The world is full of billions upon billions of people that don't know their butthole from their elbow from a hole in the ground. So don't let that one tiny little game of, of cluster flucky ever ruin your day. You are going to have a blast playing all these TTRPGs, and you never know, you might have a story to tell your friends down the line or grandkids about, hey, that one time I played a fighter in a game called B&D. Don't you mean D&D? I said B&D. Deal with it. You know, and just, just have a good time with it because your imagination is something to be cherished. We love you. Please be safe. Be happy. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.